Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 602. The verb phrase today is to sit on something, and we've got five meanings and five uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. This phrase is believed to date back to the 1600s, and the phrase originally came from ballroom dancing, in which someone who was in attendance at the ball chooses not partake, to partake in the dancing, so they're just going to sit on it. All right, and we got... Um, Five examples with five uses here. Here's the first one. To suppress, stifle something, or hide something. And here's our example for the first one. That news network had a report that was a serious scandal against that politician. But since they supported him and his party, they decided to sit on the report. So they decided to suppress it. They decided to hide it. Okay, number two, to delay, postpone, or avoid taking action at this time. I know you want to invest your money from your nest egg in the stock market, but many think the stock market is due for a big crash. If I were you, I would sit on your money and invest it after a major crash. So, crash. So basically, they want you to delay, to wait. Don't do it now. This may not be the best time. If you invest just before a crash, well, you're going to lose most of that money. All right, number three, to be a member of some group. They asked me to sit on the group of advisors to help figure out the best way to proceed. Okay, the fourth one here, to place oneself in a sitting position on someone or something. So this is the literal one of sitting on something. Uh, I had to sit on the tarp to make sure it wouldn't blow away until they were able to fasten it, until they were able to tie it down. All right, and the last one here, to affect someone with a burden. And he, uh, here's the example. A lot of that city's financial debts sat heavily on the mayor's ability to turn around the economy. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.